Hi everybody, this is Julie from Just Julie, and I am going to show you guys how to wrap a really cute, uh, a way of wrapping a really cute present. And so what I've done here is just taking, taken a shoe box, and I put the word on Mia with some vinyl. It stuck really easily. I cut this out with my silhouette, and if you've got a Cricut, Cricut Explorer, it'll work just the same. So it's kind of neat because I personalized the box, and I ordered this off of eBay. She's five years old. And this is for my niece. And so this has got her name on it. Isn't that so cute? So this is a little apron for her. So I love it. And I am just going to fold this up into here. And I'm going to make kind of a cute little package for her for her uh, birthday coming up. She's going to be five. I think I said that. And here's her little chef's hat that says Mia. So if you just search child chef hat and child's apron, this is you can find them just like that. And I thought it'd be kind of fun to add just a little spatula in there so that, because she was making cup, uh, well actually not cupcakes, but she was baking the other day, but I just thought it'd be kind of fun to add that. And then since I have one of these boxes extra, I just thought I would add it in there because it's the right color and it matches with everything. So I'm just going to do that. I take the lid and put the lid on the bottom. The reason being is I like it to look like it is a... Um, kind of like a basket so I'm using this rather than a basket and I got these on sale at Michael's seven for, for ten dollars so when I get them on sale like that I definitely stock up because I love doing this as a cute little presentation of your gift so let me turn it this way so you can kind of see everything there instead of sideways so what I'll do is go grab some of my wrapping paper my clear plastic wrap and we'll wrap this up okay so what I've done is just put the clear plastic little cellophane underneath this box and what you'll do is just kind of lift up the sides and start pulling up on all the sides so bring it all together I'm just trying to bring it up here there we go and then you're just going to tie it right in the middle so let's try to grab a hold of all this here there we go I'm going to grab it right in the middle and what I've done is just cut off a little piece of tool that's pink. And then I'm going to tie a knot here. Very cute. And then I've done this. And you guys have seen me do my bows this way. So let me just show you. Hi, everyone. I realized that part of my video that I was doing, it didn't get on the video. So I'm just going to show you here what I'm talking about. So to make my bows, I just loop it this way back and forth and back and forth and I usually do about three if you've got a little extra so you go like that and then you're gonna tie that other piece around it so you'll just tie it in a knot and it makes your little bow and then you just fluff it up so that's just how easy this is it's simple simple and looks really cute and you take this and just wrap it around real quick and pull it through and it is that easy to make the cutest little bow and I got that a little uneven, but there we go. And then you just work on fluffing up your bow. And then if you want to add a little something extra to it, what I would recommend is putting a big flower in the center of it, which is really fun. You can dangle a card off the front of it. And what I have here, I always buy extra hair clips for little girls because I think it just adds something so cute to the project. So, and she'll get to use this. So I'm just going to poke this through here. Isn't that so cute? So anyway, that is my finished gift wrapping. I hope you guys enjoy this. And definitely consider these boxes. Because like I said, you can personalize them with a name. And it's super cute. And super fun way to give someone a present. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.